Okay, another episode of the Nerdy Virgie. Nerdy Virgie. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe that. There's a podcast, right? Nerdy Virgie. What's uh, what does that even mean? Virgie, which sounds like uh, uh, the nickname for Virgil, the Nerdy Virgil. As if Virgil wasn't a nerdy name enough. Now I've insulted everyone named Virgil. I apologize. I'd like to apologize to all the people named Virgil who I've insulted. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. Um, I put this is a stream of consciousness, people. It's stream of consciousness. I don't know where the stream is going to take me. Sometimes, hopefully, not to a negative place. What am I saying? That's why else would you listen to this? Nobody wants to listen to a podcast where everything's going great. I've stumbled upon those sometimes. Oh no, he was wonderful to work for. Oh no, it was a wonderful experience. It was a wonderful experience. Working with with Virgil, we call him Virgie, uh, Nerdy Virgie. That's what we call him. It was it was wonderful working with him. I remember the first day we met him, and we just hit it off. And we we there was never any conflict between us. It was just it was wonderful. It was a great it was a great shoot, uh, and the, the script was perfect. We didn't have to do it. You know that we didn't. When the, when the script is perfect, you don't have to do any acting. Did you know that? Did it, when the script is perfect, you get out of the way of the script. And Virgie and I, we just we played it. It was great. I you know I really think um, I really think this is going to be an amazing uh, film. I think you guys are going to love this film. I, I really do. I don't think I and I think there's going to be no possible way that three years from now, when I'm in another interview for another film, and people bring up this film and say, "Wow, well, that really tanked," I'm not going to say, "Yeah, kind of." Blah, 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 blah. That's probably not going to happen this time around. Probably not going to happen this time. Around. Isn't that right, Virgie? Isn't that right? No, the uh, this is the Nerdy Virgin podcast. Uh, my name is Josh. I did not lose my virginity until I was 32 years old. This is how I want to start signing in now. Just in case uh, this is your first time hearing this, and now you understand why I'm recording this podcast alone, uh, why it's 20 minutes and not an hour, because if uh, I had lived more in my life, I'd have more to talk about. The purpose of this podcast is uh, for me to find myself. Isn't that horrible? find myself. Uh, no, it's uh, basically uh, my focus, you know, I, I am a, uh, well, I, I can say I'm a stand-up comedian, but I don't even know, is it, have I any right to say that? I, is, shouldn't the audience, I think it's the audience who says whether or not I'm a stand-up comedian. Uh, so I'll let, I'll have to let the audience decide, uh, but uh, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and call it. All right, I'm, for, for lack of a better term, I'm a stand-up comedian. Am I getting paid to do stand-up? Well, if you took one look at the stats on this podcast, I think the answer would be self-explanatory. And uh, I, I've i kind of come to this realization that I, I don't want to interview people. I don't want this to be an interview podcast. It's, I basically just want it to be me doing 20 minutes of stand-up in front of nobody, which is not stand-up. I get that. I get that that is not stand-up. Uh, I am standing up. I'm pacing at the moment, and I'm talking into the into my phone as I'm doing this, which you can show, shows you how much I'm putting into production value. Uh, so I guess it's, uh, is it podcast comedy? Is it, I don't know what, uh, what would be a better term. Uh, if there's no audience involved, it, uh, you know, and it, if, if stand-up comedy involves an audience, this is a new kind of comedy. It's called sad comedy. That's what it is. Sad alone comedy. It's 20 minutes of sad alone comedy. By a guy who lost his virginity when he was 32. I don't understand why this doesn't have more of a following. <laughs> and the the idea, uh, I think what I like, because what I love most is is uh, generating new material and riffing. And so this is me just riffing for 20 minutes. And, you know, sometimes it's gold. Uh, like the last podcast where I talked about printer elves. And, and then when I say gold there touch of irony touch of irony sometimes it might just be really sad stories um many times it's really it is there will always be at least one sad story that's let's just go ahead and assume that and if there's not that then that's fine i'm standing in my uh office right now and i'm looking at uh, we i had to order i tried to order a uh a cord that would connect from uh the laptop to uh, the camera and it turned out to uh not be the right cord that I needed. And so now I'm 
sitting there looking at this cord and this cord is looking back at me going, well, what are we going to, you know, what are we going to do? It's your move. You got me. You're stuck with me. I'm a cord. And I don't, there's no other cord like it uh, where I work. Otherwise, why would I have ordered the cord? And now I'm not sure where to put it. I feel like wherever I put it, either I or everyone else is going to forget that it's there and we'll have to order another cord. Which could also possibly mean that somewhere there are 15 other cords just like this and we are, without realizing it, uh, just uh, uh, building a collection of these same kinds of cords. This, I don't know, USB 2.0 to to smaller USB thing, the name of a cord. I never know what the name of the cord is. XLR HDMI that it's a core I don't know it's a cord and at the end of it there's you know it's got sometimes there's two prongs sometimes there's three prongs sometimes sometimes it that at the end of the cord sometimes it looks kind of like a face looking back at me going you know I what art are you producing that's worth my time and I'm going I didn't know a cord could be judgmental but uh, it reminds me of when I, my mother was telling me that all things, inanimate and animate, all things possibly have a soul. Everything has a soul. Your, your toilet has a soul. Immediately I went to the toilet. Why, why, does, why do I have to get gross? Why can't I go to, you know, your end table has a soul. Your draperies have a soul. And yet we... Uh, I don't know. Do, do mediums, do psychics, do they ever talk to the inanimate souls? I'm having a conversation with your draperies, and uh, you need to clean more. You're, they're, they're, your, your draperies are suffocating. You need to clean more. You need to stop smoking inside. It's bad for your drapes. Your drapes are begging you. Your drapes in their last lives were level or blinds. This is supposed to be an upgrade. It's supposed to be upgrading to a higher form of spiritual enlightenment. Am I insulting people who believe in that now? That this is, no matter what I do, I'm always afraid of insulting someone. Uh, and maybe it's because I was made fun of a lot. So I know what it feels like to be made fun of a lot. So now if I make fun of anything that is not me, I immediately feel guilty about it. Um, I don't want to apply that to Judaism. I don't want that to say it's because I'm Jewish and there's Jewish guilt. That is, that's the easy way out. There are plenty of Jews that don't feel guilt. No, there aren't. What am I saying? That's impossible. That is statistically impossible. So, there we are. Feeling, um... Uh, feeling a little out of gas right now. I... I actually am recording – I'm trying to record both of the podcasts on the same day on the Sunday and then release the uh, Tuesday one on Tuesday and the Thursday one on Thursday. And I hate to say it, but you're getting sloppy seconds. The good stuff was on Tuesday. This is the, this is the filler. Maybe I can rally. I also realized I need, when I'm recording this podcast, I need to be in a place where I can scream because the revelation I've made is that um, the roots of my depression, one, I think, cause of it is that I don't express how I feel. I don't feel, I, I, I don't feel comfortable expressing how I feel in uh, my life. Uh, and I, namely, it should just be crying. That's really pretty much all I feel. And uh, I uh, – crying or anger, which is just denial that I'm crying. It's uh, – uh, I don't need to cry. That's what all – that's what my anger is. No, I, this, this isn't making me cry at all. And then I go and I cry and I feel better and then uh, I feel better until the next thing comes along that makes me depressed again, which is anything. I'm very good at finding reasons to be depressed. It's sort of my thing. Sort of my thing. So should I talk a little bit more about losing my virginity when I was 32? I feel like that's all I talk about. Um, <laughs> when I talk about computer printer elves, aren't I really talking about the fact that I didn't lose my virginity until I was 32? Isn't that really the subtext of all of this? 
I do not know how to um, date. It's not that I don't know how to date. It's that I don't want to do what seems to be the the thing to do. Like I don't want to go online and date. I was listening to um, Alec Baldwin's podcast, you know, a real podcast where he actually has guests and there's a point of view. And listen, D- Josh, don't st- Josh, you need to stop being hard on yourself. All right, Josh, you need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. I'm sitting there, so I'm sitting there today, and I'm trying to write these jokes. And I realize, and I and I stop midway. I meditate for a few minutes. I cry a little bit. I go back to writing, and then I realize maybe the reason why I write this, maybe the reason why I feel so lonely, is because I have not been there for myself. And I step back away from that, and I go, that is. Oh, that's profound. And then I feel kind of skeezy for being impressed with myself that I came up with that. And then I feel frustrated because as profound as it is, it's not a joke. There's, it's not funny. So who cares if maybe it's the key to me being happy? There's no punchline! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and then I think the punchline I tried to write to it was, I still would like to have sex with another person, even if I am complete with myself. I, that it's still, I still would like to have sex with another person. And that doesn't feel like it's hugely good. Good, excellent. So I'm feeling very, I'm, I'm not feeling confident in myself at all. And I'm recording this and putting it out there, which is probably not a good idea if I want to be hired as a stand-up comedian. Should we hire this guy to be a stand-up? Well, I just listened to a podcast where he, he took us through a joke that he didn't like, and I agree I didn't like it either. And he's talking about his lack of confidence. It's, I, 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 I think he's, he's, he talked us out of it. We, we almost would have hired him, but then now, now we listen to that, and we're not sure. It's actually scary that I'm talking about this like this. But you know what? I, uh, I'm tired of running around pretending that I am okay. And I'm tired of putting on this face of uh, uh, I'm okay, I, uh, I, I, everything is fine. Everything is not fine. I am not that person who everything is fine with. So now what I'm trying to do because this is capitalism, is I'm trying to figure out a way, how can I profit from not being fine? And maybe what I need to do is just let myself have the nervous breakdown in front of people, and they pay me for it. It's, you know, it's like, some, you know, it's like, well, I don't feel like a court jester. I want somebody to come up in front of me and just melt down. <laughs> just melt down. Just lose their mind. For five minutes, just absolutely lose their mind for five minutes. That's that's entertainment. That makes me feel so much better. That's how that's how I should get. Maybe that's how I should earn. Uh, that should be the side hustle. I will come to your house, and I will have a nervous breakdown, and just ball. And you'll go, ah, oh, wow, I feel much better now. This is this is fantastic. How long is it? So you only had sex once, and you haven't had sex since? Wow. Tell me more. That could be lucrative, people. That could be lucrative. All right, now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like we're rallying a little bit. I am. Uh, I do have a small model of the Starship Enterprise in my office. Um, original series, the original, original, original series Enterprise that I do play with if I'm talking to someone on the phone and they can't see me. Actually, I was on a Zoom thing and they could see me and I realized... Uh, they could all see me playing <laughs> with, with the Starship Enterprise. What do you think is more embarrassing? That guy who was fired on CNN because I think he was, he was pleasuring himself on a Zoom call or me playing with the Starship Enterprise. I feel like even that guy would go, that's sad. <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. That happened. That happened to me. I hope nobody... Noticed, but then again, what? So they, so they noticed. So what? Why am I so concerned about what other people think, Joshua? Why am I so concerned? I'll tell you the dessert I've been having. Uh, I, I've been uh, going to uh, an SIE bowl shop. 
I've been ordering a bowl without the SIE. The SIE, it's kind of like a like a sorbet, but it's vegan supposedly. I uh, uh but I I've not been I've been ordering just the, so all it is, it's they put in fruit, they top it with one or two Oreo cookies and some chocolate chips, and I've been eating that every night. So bowl of fruit, a couple of Oreos, some chocolate chips. That's been my dessert. Um and it's a very nice place where I go and, and buy this. But I'm paying eight dollars. And I'm not and this is not a slam on them uh, at all, because that to operate, you have to you know, normally there would be this, you know, the actual substance of why anyone anyone would go to this place. So normally eight dollars makes sense. I am paying eight dollars for a couple of pieces of fruit, a couple of Oreos, and some chocolate chips. Now, if I went to the store and got all of this on my own, I would. it would probably be the equivalent of 50 cents a day instead of $8 a day. Um, so I recognize that the $7.50 that I'm paying for is the convenience of not going shopping. Uh, and this is why I'm not getting anywhere in life. This is the problem. This is why I am not the CEO. This is why I'm not where Tesla is. Because Tesla, I think way, 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 way before he started his company and way, 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 way before he's conquering space would have immediately gone, I can do this better. <laughs> this, I, I can do this better. I have not done that though. Uh, my, uh, my acai bowl is not together, as they say. That doesn't make sense. I just I, I wanted to avoid cursing because I'm trying to be four quadrant. You've got to be four quadrant, which is an industry term that means this appeals to all ages. Because I'm sure there are a lot of five year olds out there who want to listen to a 39 year old Jew talk about his IBS. I'm sure this is a win win situation for everybody. Man, 17 minutes. All right. We did it. We did it. How do I how do I how do I bring this plane? How do I bring this podcast in for a landing? How do I how do I how do I bring her in? How do I end on something strong? You always have to end on something strong. How do you end on something strong? What are we gonna talk about? Um, what are the conditions that I'm putting on myself? I don't want to talk about something I've already talked about. I want to talk about something new. It's gotta be something new. Got to be something new. Um, I all right. I'm just looking around. I have these wipes on my desk. Uh, the name uh, the name of the brand is Pro Promedic. Promedic kills 99.9 percent of germs. They always say that. I I love it all. It, everything says it. any antibacterial soap kills 99.9 percent. 99.9 percent. And I feel like when it says it kills 99.9%, what it's really saying is, now you can't sue us if you die. We warned you it's not perfect, so if it, something slips through, you can't sue us. You can't sue us. Promedic, can't sue us. But then I'm hearing that there's stuff in these wipes, possibly, that are carcinogens. And that's the conclusion I've reached about what it is to be alive uh, in this era, possibly in any era. I feel like I'm, it's not about avoiding death. It's about trying to choose how I die. That's what, it, that's what my life feels like. I get the vaccine because I don't want to die of the virus. Uh, I'm trying to cut back on uh, uh, bad foods for me because I don't want to die of heart disease or cancer. And if I do everything right, maybe I will die of something else that I didn't even plan of plan on that will be just as horrifying as these other things. That's what life feels like to me right now. It's just it's it's like I'm falling down a mountain. And the question is, where do I want to break my leg? <laughs> where do I want the final death blow to be as I careen down this mountain? And we are past the point of avoiding falling down the mountain that happened as soon as I was born. Uh, I always like to end my podcast on a positive note, and, uh, and I think we've achieved that. If you enjoyed any part of this, please do share this podcast. Please do tell people to follow me at Nerdy Virgin. Uh, visit my website, nerdyvirgin.com. Follow me on TikTok and uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram. 
uh, at Nerdy Virgin. Uh, the other thing I, I should try, I, this, this should be interactive. This should be interactive. This needs to be interactive. I need to start having a conversation with people. Uh, so if there's anything you want me to talk about, um, maybe cartoons. Uh, no, let's not do cartoons. Let's do superheroes. Yes, I want to talk about superheroes. If there's a superhero you want me to talk about. Uh, holler at me. Tweet at it. Tweet at me or uh, uh, TikTok at me or something. And say, hey, talk about this superhero on the podcast. And I will, I, will, I will do a little bit of reading, make some notes, make some comments, and we'll chat about it. Uh, and by chat, I mean I will do all of the talking, and hopefully you will listen and find it enjoyable. In, and then tell your friends about it, and they will find it enjoyable. And then one day, perhaps, we shall all see each other as I perform live in a uh, humble small venue where I make just enough money to afford flying out to the venue to perform, assuming we're not all dead. And that's the end.